Look. Beanpole's lot. Must be crazy. In open country like that. But where's Beanpole then? In the woods, probably. He knows this area is full of tripods. They're coming through the trees! I told you so! Better for Beanpool to travel with you two now. Even though the barge skipper won't like it. What is he like? Wolf's a bad tempered fellow. But it's his boat, and he knows the river and he knows the black guard, so you do as he says. You'll see the river in daylight. Follow it downstream, and you'll come to the ancient city of Basel. In the harbour there is where you'll find the old Koenig. Come on, Henry. Must be in position by dawn if we're to observe more of these tripod maneuvers. Good luck. Goodbye, Ron. So we come to the parting of the Parkers, yes? Well, goodbye, Fritz. Goodbye. Goodbye. And good luck. To you too. Imagine what it must have been like before the tripods came. Hundreds of boats passing up and down here each day. From here we travel by day. Like official athletes on our way to the games, we must accustom ourselves to living the normal life of the cat. We leave now. We're at 
two-man barge. One extra boy is fair enough. You start apprentices that way, but any more would draw notice, and I'm not having that. So, when we're tied up, and in view of the black guards, you'll take it in turns to work on deck. And when I say work, I mean work. Eh? And the other two must stay below, and not come up for anything. Is that clear? Yes, Captain. Hmm? Yes, sir. Good. So, I won't think twice about dropping somebody off who's out of line. Oh! 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 But she, she's, she's sick. It sounds like agony. The cap is supposed to protect from sickness, is that not so? No, but she's not capped, is she? Precisely, and neither are we, which means we could be open to infection. She's very ill. She has the plague. Then what treatment does she have? If she goes to a doctor, he'll call for an examination of the cap. And when they find it to be false, the tripods will cap her and discover the secrets of the network. Yeah, that's what the captain fears. He should not have allowed us on board. Shut up, Fritz. This is a danger to our mission. We should leave the boat. Well, how will we get to the games? Walk. But perhaps we can help her. And risk infection. She's one of us, man. If she's in need of help and we can give it, it's a reasonable return for putting their lives on the line to get us to the games. Wurttemberg, I'll find something to ease your pain. Please don't make me sleep. I need to fight it. To do that, you need strength. You must relax. Take a little food and drink. And if possible, you must sleep. It is not possible. I know. I know. <laughs> I was trained for the games myself last year. Oh, what event? Javelin. But, uh, I wasn't chosen. So you were in the White Mountains too? Yeah. But after the selection, I was sent down here as part of the network. All two, of course, and Petra. They met in the White Mountain. Oh, please. Water. Oh. No, Will. We must fetch all. The problem with you is you have no discipline of any kind. You are impetuous and dangerous. Get out of my way. You seem to have no idea what's at stake here. The enormity of the task that Julius has entrusted to us. Get out of my way! No! No! Fritz, leave it! Let go of me! Leave it! Come on! We've lost her! Where's the other boy? Take his fast forward and see what water we've got. On deck! On hand! On deck!
know about that contraption, do you? Uh, a little, monsieur. Oh, then you spend the rest of the journey teaching that nincompoop who knows nothing. as well, do you? He has a great interest in all the sciences, as the ancestors called them. I think, from what I've heard, that you really have nothing to fear. Mm. Come. Your wife. How long has she been ill? The sores and fever together? Mm. About ten days. And the sores spread? Mm. But you have no symptoms yourself? No sore throat, temperature? Nope. Only exhaustion. Oh, please, allow me to examine her. No, absolutely not. But ten days already. If it was the plague, by now you would be showing. It may be impetigo, with a high fever. Mm. If so, there are herbs and berries we can pick and prepare. In Württemberg, there's an apothecary. I hope to bribe him for something to ease the pain. Come on, boys. Boys, you're good. But Petra... She's my responsibility. Oh, oh fantastic! Way more fantastic. <laughs> and look at this. Look. It's the work of your ancestors. It must be more than 150 years old. It won't have been used like this for all of that time, but mm. they certainly made it well. Do you understand how it works? Mm, the basic principles I understand, <laughs> but the details... <laughs> Boys, I'm going ashore, but I'll be back by noon. Now, Württembergers are very suspicious of strangers from the south, and very keen to uphold the laws of the tripods. Fritz will be allowed on deck as the official apprentice, but you too must stay out of sight below until we're clear. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Will? Yes. There's danger enough in what I have to do. Well, Tony! Anyone aboard? Shh. Stay very quiet. Bring the black guard on board, you fool. We have a cargo of clocks from Basel for Cologne. The captain's name's Ulf Reinhardt. Tell him to report to my office. Well, he shouldn't be too long, sir. I expect him. should not be here. Nor should the tripods. Ulf has told me about you. You are from England. Yes. John Paul here is from France. Is there anything we can get you? No. No, thank you. You must go now. I'm sorry. When I wake, I don't know where I am. Madame, please, may I examine your hand? You must not touch me. I have some knowledge. If a doctor could not touch his patients, how could healing begin? He's okay. Oh, that's perfect. Excellent, well. No sign of wolf. Fritz thinks he's in trouble. He would. 
This is Arnica. To soothe your pain. I will put that on. It is not very pretty. But you will do it. I will. Thank you. Both of you. Search. It is already well past noon. If he's not back in one hour, I shall commandeer the boat. What? Our orders from Julius are to win the games and get into the tripod city. Both is subject to orders from Julius also. I do not intend to let anything get in the way of that. Are you in this? I am determined to carry out my orders, and I do not intend to be delayed any longer. Is he serious? Never more so in my life. Then you're out of your mind! Keep away! Look! Instead of getting at each other's throats, why don't we go and find out what's happened to Oath? Give us an hour. In spite of this, it will be better for all of us if we can go on together. In my judgment, you are now a liability to the mission. That was not Julius's opinion. If you leave the boat, that is your affair. If you're not back by dusk, I shall go on without you. He's been found guilty of stealing two apples from a store. And he's been condemned to the pit for seven days. you good people here, but then you're a foreigner, aren't you, eh? From the Tyrol. Ah, I thought so. And on your way to cheat at the games again, no doubt, eh, boy? Hey, Heinrich! This is Heinrich Trotwein. Here is the boy who should have been champion of the games last year. Yeah. 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 But he was fouled in the final by a weighted punch. Take one, Fremantle International, opening act. Perhaps you'd like to redeem that dishonor now, eh, boy? Yeah. I think in the help of our Heinrich Troutwein, yeah. Yeah. young crown champion of the game. Yeah. Ha! Yeah. Heinrich Troutwein!
a fair fight, eh? We are here in Wittenberg. We will supply you a fair fight, eh? They went to look for you. What? I told them we would leave without them if they were not back by dusk. You did, did you? I did, sir. And I insist that we do. You think you're the captain now, do you? know what's coming. The black guards reckon it good sport to start the day by stoning to death. Anybody they'd find in here. <laughs> <laughs> 